Hello, my name is Pachos Athanasios and today I'm going to be hosting the video of how to create a user interface. Before we start, please don't forget to like and subscribe on the community channel to keep you updated on the upcoming videos. The user will be able to log into this account and see some information about his account. So to begin, you first need to create your members account which you do it by going to the add button members and now I'm seeing that here because I already added that but you will see a button here that says add to site you will add that and it will open you uh, that that here now whenever I do user interface I never use the predetermined one because, well, the design is pretty limited and you can't do much with it. So I always create a database and save all the information I need there. So once you have created the members and you are on this page, you go here on the member pages, click this button here and add new page. Now I'm not going to click that because it will create another page on my site that I'm not needing at the moment and for some reason you cannot delete a page after you created it. So as I was saying, create a page by clicking add new page. It will give you an empty page with nothing in there so you can customize it any way you want. So the next step you will need to do is create a database. The database will need to be based on your needs. Payments database that has your payment information, a project database that has your project's information. A standard database I almost always create on my user interface is obviously the personal details, the client's database. Here you will need to enter the first name, last name, email, phone number, whatever information you want your user to give. So, once you have created the databases you need, we're going to need to connect them to our, to our user interface. Let's just assume that this is a personal information page. So what we will need to display here is the user's information. So his name, last name, last name, let's say email, You do not need to put that dollar sign I put there just with it so that I know as a developer that this value is going to be changed to another value that it's not going to be static. It helps me understand the content on my side. So what, uh, whatever information you want to have address and any other field. Next thing you need to do is click add database data set now on this database we will need to configure it so that it displays the content for this user so we will select the clients database and read only here on the add filter we will need to add a filter field owner as logged in user so what we did now is basically filtered all the information on the data set to only display the information on this user now that this is done you just connect the fields to the data set this is going to the client name client last name client email 
and client address. So now this is going to display only this information. So let's recap. What do you need to do? First, you click Add, you go to Members, and you click Add to Site. You will be redirected to this page, and you can of course use this page if you want it. You just won't be able to customize it as you want it. So, you go to Members Pages, Add New Page, you customize the page the way you want it, you have your fields there, the placeholders that will display this information, you connect it to the dataset, and you click Publish to see them on the live site. So, thank you so much for watching, please like and subscribe to the community channel. Also, if you want, you can subscribe to my channel, Future Code which will be in the description. I upload videos, tutorials about Wix code stuff there. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day.